All right, this is going to be another <clears throat> freaking test. I do believe my problems are solved because I did receive the new data cable in the mail today. It's pretty windy out again, but not too bad. Not as bad as it was yesterday. Um, I took it back to the cemetery because I have all these open fields. There's a the cemetery. I've been taking pictures and put some stuff up on the website for the uh, president of the association. Everything seems to be looking pretty good. See out here if I crash, which I shouldn't, I don't think I will, I'm getting a good picture. At least I can retrieve a retrieve the drone. You know, much better than landing in the Hudson River. And, you know, being in a field is a little easier to recover it. So far, so good. Put it in. Gimbal's working nice. Put it in jet mode. Responding pretty well. I think uh, it's, I'm gonna call it just about healthy. Beautiful day, it's just a little windy. Almost 2,000 feet out, 400 feet, right near I 90. Yeah, I'm looking good. Believe it or not, even if it goes down here, I'd be able to find it with, find my drone, but I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble. It's behaving as designed, I would say. Behaving nicely. It's almost a mile away. Now I'm back to normal. Looking good. Very nice. Nice skyline today. Not losing any signal. Do a nice 360. Good battery, 88%. No trouble. I want to go a little slower than that. Sun's behind the clouds, which is always nice. Very pretty. Great countryside out here. Let's see if I can make it to the bridge over, I don't think I will, kind of far out. Should get over the, I don't want to fly over the highway in case something happens. <clears throat> Last thing I need is a lawsuit because my drone fell out of the sky and hit a fucking car. And with my luck it would hit a state trooper or something. Haven't even gotten a weak battery signal yet. Pretty amazing. It's flying at 40 miles an hour. What a difference the freaking cable makes. Wow, almost a mile out. Over the bridges. Pretty impressive. <clears throat> I 
It's Route 150. Good distance. Yeah. That's the road in here. <clears throat> to head back towards where I am. Well, I'm a mile out. I'm looking good. Kind of remember to wipe the damn fingerprints off this fucking screen. I can't see shit. Head in the wind. <clears throat> Only going about 28 miles an hour. 70% battery. Light balance is fucked. Fix the focus if there's an issue. It's hard to tell. Somebody's shooting out there. There we go. It's a little overexposed. The wind's tossing this thing around a bit. Here comes somebody to visit the dead. There's a cemetery. <sighs> okay, I'm getting fucking shaky gimbal shits here. I'm not looking at. But that could have been because of the uh, way this stupid holder holds the phone. Go over towards Gould. It's flying right over my head. That's actually Gould's apple orchard. I'm gonna go right over it. Forty eight percent battery. Flying up to the farthest part of the field over there. Then I'm gonna come back. What the hell's going on there? Sometimes it's because of the speed too that it'll do that. So we're in sport mode. See, I let, took off the throttle and you saw it shake. It's from the drone stopping. Like that. It's actually shaking in the air.
I stopped it again. High speed stop, it's like hitting air brakes. Stop it. Still having trouble with the gimbal. These fucking cables, man. Hit the fucking record button again. I, I can't stand that fucking thing. It's right on the spot of the controller that you don't want to hit it, but you hit it. I'm coming home now. It's not a big problem, but it shouldn't be doing that. It's coming right at me. Right by that flag. Now I'm going to do auto land. Landing. me <clears throat> Landing. still a little shaky on the gimbal but <clears throat> 